good movie, but, you know, film fans, very excited to see Marlon Brando and Montgomery Cliff together in the same movie, were, for the most part, disappointed by this film, since those two actors basically had no scene together, no dramatic confrontation. Nor, unfortunately, was this the same Montgomery Cliff who'd made such an impact in movies like Red River or The Heiress, A Place in the Sun, and From Here to Eternity. He'd been involved in a very serious car accident in 1956 while making the film Raintree County, which, like The Young Lions, was directed by Edward Dimitrick. That accident had a traumatic effect on Cliff, physically and emotionally, after which, according to friends and biographers, he was never really quite the same. Montgomery Cliff died in 1966, eight years after making The Young Lions. One of the films he was about to do at the time of his death was John Huston's Reflections in a Golden Eye. When that film was suddenly without a leading man, the one who stepped in to take the role left vacant by Cliff's death was Marlon Brando. Up next, a true story from World War II, which changed military rules about several members of one family being in the same fighting unit. It stars Academy Award winners Anne Baxter and Thomas Mitchell, and a whole group of promising new actors in 1944. Today on Turner Classic Movies, we continue to honor Memorial Day with The Fighting Sullivans. Then, Gregory Peck doesn't believe in hard luck in 12 o'clock high. And Frederick March returns to a whole new world for the best years of our lives. Gregory Peck.